All right, Coach, just how does this feel to another wild Fresno State Hawaii game to come out on top? Yeah, it feels great to come on the road and play a really good Hawaii team and find a way to win. What a down the stretch, it was nerve wracking for sure. And, uh, you know, it's a good football team and a close, hard fought game um, to be able to come back in the second half and then to turn back around and then to be able to to win it at the end. I'm really proud of Caesar for putting it through the uprights. It seemed like you guys were playing well, but it was there was adversity. You know, no review went your way. It seemed like that was a fumble at the end to me. I had it on my camera. It seemed like it was. How do you kind of gather the troops and just make sure that your team stays, you know, into it and able to pull it off? Well, you just got to keep playing. You know, I mean, sometimes those things go your way and sometimes they don't. It seemed like tonight every single review didn't go our way. Which was unfortunate, but you know that's why they have review. And then you gotta you gotta keep playing. And uh, I was proud of our kids for continuing to battle. And uh, it was far from perfect, uh, but you gotta find a way to win. And uh, that's an explosive team right there, and um, very good football team. And so to be able to come here and be able to leave with a victory is big for us. And this keeps keeps you right in the hunt, right in in the West Division race. Yeah, you know, we'll take one at a time. Um, this is just one, and I will go back and regroup and learn from the mistakes we made tonight and try to improve and, and get ready for next week. Another different defensive look, and you had two freshman DBs taking a lot of those reps. Uh, what did you see from how the defense played in this game, this matchup? Well, that's a tough offense to stop. You know, they're going to make their plays, and, um, you know, I thought, for the most part, until the last couple drives, the defense played pretty well in the second half. Um, let a couple of big plays get behind us late in the game. Um, but uh, for the most part, I thought the guys ran, played really hard, ran to the football. Um, you know, as always, you know, like I said, whether we, whether we win or whether we don't, you know, I always have confidence that our kids are going to play hard, and they did it again tonight. You spoke with two of your two freshmen here, Jalen and Evan, after the game. Uh, what can you say about their performances in a game like this? Yeah, I mean, Jalen just continues to make plays, you know, and uh, and Evan, that was really his first time to be um, a starter and play as much as he did, and uh, and I thought he did a nice job, and uh, you know, so it's great experience for those guys, you know, to be able to to play in these type of games and and uh, learn from how fast the game moves and, and things, especially for Evan against a team like that that, that spreads it around so much. Um, but Crop, he just he just continues to make plays. You know, Tonight he made more plays in the past game and, and uh, obviously the big run that he made for the touchdown, uh, he's, a, he's a competitor. Hawaii's done this a couple of times now where they bring in their second quarterback late in games and he's happened to win a few of those. Did you feel anything shift or change when that change was made for them? Uh, no, he did bring a spark, it seemed, you know, especially with his legs, you know, that he pulled it down and he made some big runs and, uh, you know, kept the chains moving, scored a touchdown or two, I can't remember, uh, but he did provide a spark for him. Which one went into dialing up that trick play, you know, on, on the first series? Can, can you tell me about, was that one in the works for a while or just, you know? No, it was kind of off of the play that we've run. Um, you know, it was just kind of the next phase of that play. And uh, for him to, for Chalen to throw a ball like he did, that was a perfect throw, you know. And, uh, you know, we practiced a few times during the week, and every time he threw it perfect. And, you know, it just seems like nothing phases him. He's a football Ooh, yeah. player and a real competitor. You just described the emotions of this win, you think, for your team coming off of last week's game and how you can build off of it? Well, yeah, I mean, there's a lot we can learn from it because, like I said, it was far from perfect, but we found a way to win, and uh, that's what's important. But we do need to learn some lessons about, about, you know, when we have it, when we have it, you think, in the bag down the stretch, and then, you know, you don't feel an onside kick, and, you know, it look, looks like things are going the other way, and, you know, but... To find a way to win, it's it's always about getting better each week. That's that's what we're all about because there's never a perfect game. It's gonna be a long flight home. We don't get home till like seven in the morning or something like that. So it's gonna gonna be a long long flight, long day tomorrow. But we'll 
We'll watch it tomorrow evening and try to learn some lessons and get ready for the next one.